how are you doing? Welcome back to Wi-Fi Sheep at Christmas with me, Tom, right here on YouTube. I hope you're having a fantastic festive holiday time. Now, a couple of days ago, just before the big day itself, that was sort of about December the 21st, I think, this year, Retro Games Limited dropped some news that they have a brand new service patch or firmware patch for the C64, the C64 Mini and slash or the VIC-20. Now they've dropped a couple of these over the years and normally I'm like, eh, okay, whatever. We have covered them on the channel, but normally it's not big news. However, this one is particularly interesting as it covers the mouse. It gives mouse support for the C64, VIC-20 and the Mini system. The reason, well, as I explained in the previous video, they announced uh, for next year, they're going to be releasing the A500 Amiga clone. Personally, wasn't that interested, but they're also going to be releasing a gamepad and something called the mouse, which looks like a sort of blocky Commodore mouse, but it's USB compatible. Now, from a business standpoint, for those of us not interested in the Amiga system at all, we might buy the peripherals still if they were compatible with our the C64s or any of the other products they've made. So it makes perfect sense to bring that compatibility to the C64. Also, many of you will know the device emulator that the C64 uses does actually support mice. So it's not a big jump to get it running actually on this piece of hardware. So today I thought, let's try this out. Let's do the update. Let's see what's new. And also I want to see if we can use a mouse because the mouse hasn't been released. Now, what I'm hoping is that any generic USB mouse is going to work and they haven't locked this down that you have to buy the mouse because that would be a real pain. Anyway, we're going to get to that shortly. But first, do you have a need for a reliable, cost-effective web hosting for your blog, business or personal website? If so, then look no further than Cheap Host UK. Cheap Host UK's basic plan starts from only 58 pence per month. That is 6.99 per year. And if you're in need of a little bit more, Cheap Host UK's premium packages start from just £1.41 a month or £16.99 a year, complete with a free .co.uk domain name. New customers can also take advantage of an extra 10% discount when purchasing any first-time hosting package or domain name from Cheap Host UK. Simply use discount code SHEEP, that's S-H-E-E-P, to get an extra 10% off. For reliable, cost-effective web hosting and domain names, look no further than Sheep Host UK. Full details and an affiliate link are in the description to this video. So, first thing to do is to head over to retrogames.biz, a website we have visited many a time here on Wi-Fi Sheep. And as you can see, it's all set up for the um, advertisement of the A500 Mini. We've already talked about that on the channel. I know my feelings on that. I've expressed them. Some of you weren't happy, but hey, you know, I'll say what I want to say about it. Uh, we're not there for that today. So let's go to products. And the C64, which is one we want. And in hiding is the upgrade. And we've got a new upgrade. So this is version 1.6.1. And you can see here it adds Commodore mouse support, includes the use of the mouse and the gamepad, which are the peripherals coming out for the uh, A500. Uh, we also have a new game, Space Lords. So that's what this update does. So we'll click to download. And that normally takes you to Google Docs. And we just click to download from Google Docs. So this is going to be 15.4 megabytes, so quite a small patch, really. So I've got my uh, new version bin file, dot bin file, on the desktop here on the Mac. I'm using a Mac, but this will work perfectly fine on Windows, Linux, no problem. So let's put the FAT32 or FAT formatted SD card, USB stick, into the computer. There we go, USB flash. This is my dedicated drive I've been using for the C64. And okay, and you see down here I've got some version bins from previous updates. So let's just drop the C64 1.16.161, sorry, dot bin in. There we go. That's all we need to do. 
and we can eject the drive. So we'll take that drive out and we'll head over to the C64 to do the update. Here we are then, a bit of a tight angled shot, but we are back with the C64 once again. And let's power up. I've had trouble with these not powering up after being left. Oh no, I think we're going to be all right. Also for today, I'm using the official controller -y joystick thing. This has been sitting on the shelf, literally collecting dust. Um, let's see now. So I go menu. I can remember this works. Options. Oh, no. Exit to carousel mode. There we go. Now let's take our USB data stick and let's put it into the side of the unit. And on the screen it should come up. There it is. Data stick at the bottom so we can we can select it, but now we need to go to settings and we go to system information and it see it finds the new uh, there we are firmware update found 161.bin do we want to apply the firmware yes we do so we're going to hit apply you've seen this screen here on the channel before we've done this numerous times And the system will now do a reset. There we go. So let's go back to options, back to the carousel mode. And I'm trying to think where the new game is. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, no, there it is. Space Lords. Okay. Right, so this is a game that can use the mouse. And, well, I don't have a the mouse because I'm not out yet. What I do have is one of these wonderfully cheap um, Poundland Jobby U uh, USB mice, which is something we've always wanted to do is be able to plug in. So let's plug a mouse in. Okay, so there is mouse which obviously has got voltage and is working now what happens if we try the new space lords game okay yep uh, that's fine doing hmm interesting so the joystick is working sort of but I'm not getting anything through the mouse Okay. Okay, so we've got the firmware loaded and we tried the new game and I don't seem to get that to work. I don't think I've set it up right. It may still be looking for joystick. But anyway, I want to try our mouse now with uh, an operating system called Geos. Now, I have been wanting to do a video on this for a while. It's one of the very few graphical user click and point type operating systems that actually ever came out for 6502 based computers, such as the Commodore 64. I suppose the exception would be the various desktops that came out for the Apple II, but that's another story. So let's see if we can get Geos or Geos to work and will it support the new mouse drivers? And before anyone goes on, well, Tom, you showed us a click and point operating system running on a BBC Micro. Ah, yes, I did. But that was uh, Gem running as DOS in a 16-bit mode using a Raspberry Pi as a daughter card. So it wasn't actually running off the native uh, 6502 chip on that machine. So these are native operating systems, which we'll try. Well, so what we'll do is I've got my GS64. There it is. And can I run the load command? Load. Comma 
comma eight comma one. This may take a moment. And uh, there we go. So that is the desktop environment. And at the moment it's set to using, I'll just show you this, the joystick to move the cursor around. Now I'm really hoping that we've now got mouse support. Okay, so we hold down the C64 key or the C key on the original machine and go I. That brings up our input devices and If I select that, COM1351 and go OK. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. And you can now see I've now got quite a fluid mouse. Oh, that is so much better. I've now got a mouse control of the system, which is fantastic. So that works. And I can select the menus. I've got options and I've still got a joystick plugged in so we can go to media access and let's swap for the apps disk. So now if I double click for the apps disk, applications, we've got Geo, Geo Write and Geo Paint. And GeoPaint might actually load, if we're lucky. So we'll create a new document. Please enter the file name. Uh, Wi-Fi sheet pick. There we go, and we can now do some uh, pixel painting on the C64, something it was never really meant for. Uh, can we do some colour? There's some patterns. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Colour. There we go. Oh, I've got the rubber selected, that's why. Uh, normal. There we go. Oh, it's a bit. Uh, you click and then it. You don't have to click and hold. I don't know what I'm drawing. It's meant to be a sheep. It's a very very bad sheep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's actually working. And you've got some sort of base draw tools. Got a, uh, a rubber or an eraser for rubbing out. Yeah, okay, so that's fantastic. So, I'm not sure why it didn't work in that game, but at least we can safely say that you can use pretty much any generic. PC, USB, mouse, even a really horrible and cheap one with the C64. And if you need click and point operating systems such as running Geos, if you wanted to on the C64, you can now do so without needing the joystick. Um, I have to admit the mouse is really fast and responsive, which is surprising considering how slow the rest of the operating system actually is. Uh, let's, let's quit. I'm too used to the Macintosh, I'm too used to now I've seen quit under the uh, finder menu, not under the uh, file menu like it used to be. Yeah, there we go, that's superb. And as I said, the mouse, really, really nice response. That's a nice addition from Retro Games Limited to give us, finally give us mouse support with the C64. Okay, so that was actually really, really cool. It worked. I really welcome the mouse support. It makes sense. And you know what? Although I'm in no way affiliated with Retro Games Limited, I've said that every time and have been critical of some of their stuff in the past. 
I'm almost tempted by a, the mouse just to have something that matches the aesthetic of the C64, even though it's meant to be an Amiga product. So maybe we'll see. Uh, in the meantime, if you haven't done so already, please do consider liking and subscribing to me right here on Wi-Fi Sheep. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for your company. And I hope to see you real soon right here on the channel. Until next time, Merry Christmas and bye for now.